Hello everybody, I'd like to first off thank Square2448 for allowing me to use his map and releasing it for us today. Uh, today we're going to set up the tow yard, because Square2448 created the map and placed the tow yard in it for us so we can build our towing fleet. But this is the spawn area. Right now we're going to go to the shop and get all the tow trucks brought over to the tow yard. So with that, let's get this started. Uh, right now I'm using the traffic control truck that we're going to be using for our towing operations. So far we only have a few trucks, but that will expand over time. I think there's just way too many trees, but... Anyhow, check the supply is there, so we're going to turn here. Because this is the firehouse right here. Because he built it so that the shop was right next to Napa and the firehouse, but I don't have any fire engines at the moment, so there's nothing to put in there. I mean, I can make it another tow yard, but you guys can see all the trucks that we got right there. In the meantime, we're just going to go to the tow shop. In the back here is where we're going to stash this highway control truck. But this is where you put all your towed vehicles at after you're done towing them away. So with that, let's go to the shop. Now this garage is like five bays, but that doesn't matter. And I highly recommend you guys go check out Square 2448 because he did an excellent job on this map. It's uh, three months in the making, and this is only a beta release of the map, so it's only going to get better from that here. Because he's got a lot planned for it. If you want more details, just go watch his channel. Now to start off with, we're just going to use this AAA flatbed. get this over to the tow shop. I got a rotator and a GMC uh, motorhome toter there, but well, mobile home toter, but what it does is it takes trailer park homes and moves them to their new location.
But today's episode is primarily just setting up the tow yard and tow shop. Like that bay there, we're going to use that for the mighty rotator. And then the toter, we're going to put in the end bay down there by the gate. That was a little unrealistic, but there was a bit of a lag spike there, so... And all the trucks you're seeing right now, they came from Wood Metal Farm. You just gotta sign up to get their mods, but it's not a big deal. It's a one-time deal. You sign up and you can download all the mods from there as long as you're not uploading them to other sites. And I do not claim to take credit for any of these mods. I don't build mods, I just use them in my game. And we're just going to leave this outside. And this is an international uh, motor home hauler, so, mobile home hauler. So, next up we have the rotator. Now I did not buy the tow hook because it, even though you are supposed to buy it, I didn't buy it as I'm not using the rotator at the m moment. We're just getting the shop set up. Now this rotator has, uh, by the looks of things, it has two winches, a red and a blue. So there's no auxiliary winches by the looks of things, which is okay. It's not the greatest rotator, but it's good for our operation. But anyhow, we'll get the truck put away and the, the rotator put in the garage and then we'll end the video. Because today was basically just setting up the tow shop and we might do lawn care sometime in the future, but right now we're just setting up the, lawn, the tow, yards because, tow yard up because that's what we're doing on this map mostly. Part of the lag could be coming from the trees because there's a lot of collisions with them. But. We're going to get this rotator put into the garage and then... nice thing about this garage here is that it has a front and a back door. 
So if I were to pull this rotator through the back of the building, it would go straight into this bay as well, which is why we're putting it here. As you can see, it's a good Western Star rotator, and there's still ample room behind it. As you can see there. But, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. This has been Matthew Grinnell with uh, another Farming Simulator video. Again, I would like to thank Square2448 for sharing his map. Thanks for watching.